Hello, everyone. My name is Ananya Sri Ram Rajan. I'm here to give the TOS report for Argentina, Brazil, Costa Rica, Mexico, and the United States. The national director of the TOS in Argentina is Marcela Riado. Her goal is to make the TOS more visible among the members and sympathizers of the Theosophical Society in Argentina, as well as to other Hispanic speaking countries in South and Central America. In addition, she hopes to continue to weave fraternal ties between coordinators and collaborators and to try to add more interested parties to the work. Ushuaia is the most southern city in Argentina. It belongs to the province of Tierra del Fuego. Its economy is largely supported by the tourism, so the pandemic has had a severe impact on income resulting in much poverty. Before the pandemic began, there were six free dining rooms in Ushuaia. Today, there are 17. Many people, especially those involved in tourism, as well as factory workers, have had their working hours reduced or have been out of work. Others, like some backpackers, are stranded on the island because they do not have the means to return home. During this year, TOS raised funds to provide 150 meals to a manual dining room for people in need. They also bought 63 pairs of shoes that are suitable for the climatic conditions of the city for the students of the Ernesto Sabato Provincial School. Due to the economic difficulties of the area, students cannot afford these shoes and therefore stop attending school. So far, 29 pairs have been delivered. Casilda is a city in the province of Santa Fe. The TOS group there made several donations to organizations in great need, such as the Association of Volunteer Firefighters and the Hospital of Belson in the province of Rio Negro. This was due to the fires in the Andean region. Animal shelters of, of Casilda, Rosario, and Espinillos were also supported. Monies were also donated to the Casilda Scholarship Association to provide financial support so that children of both primary and secondary schools can continue studying. Espinillos is a rural area located about 15 kilometers from the city of Rio Cuatro. It belongs to the province of Cordoba. In Espinillos, the retreat house Our Lady and All Angels is is on the property of the Liberal Catholic Church. It houses the Espinillo Shelter, home for 21 dogs and seven cats that have been rescued from the street. In the city of Buenos Aires, donations from members and supporters helped the work carried out by the cultural house Victor Hara, whose activities are always dedicated to art and culture. Donations of money, everyday household items, clothing, non-perishable food, and toys were provided to help the neighborhoods. There were also donations made to the animal shelter, Companions of the Soul. The meetings of the Healing League are being held by various coordinators in Casilda, Rosario, Via Cuatro, Cordoba, and San Rafael. Since the end of August, Argentina has joined the Prayer of Healing, coordinated by Sister Lucila Garcia of TOS Mexico. This, com this brings together participants from Argentina, Costa Rica, and Mexico. Marcela Riado would like to thank all those who silently and anonymously collaborate with our human brothers and animal brothers and plants building a life that is more equalitarian and respectful throughout the world.
In Brasilia, Brazil, several campaigns were done to raise money for various causes. A campaign was done to raise money for a young boy named Lucas so he could have eye surgery. Financial support was raised to help needy TS members during the pandemic. Veterinarian treatment was given to a dog and money was raised for that as well. Raffle sale campaigns were organized to help support the health treatment of a TS brother. And a campaign was done to raise money for a retired secretary of the TS office to help with the expenses of her brother's funeral. From July 2020 to August 2021, TOS Arts continued organizing the weekly Theosophy and Art by Zoom, which began in April 2020. In broadcasted, it is broadcasted on the national TS Brazil channel on YouTube on Saturday evenings from 7.30 to 9. During relaxed and joyful nights, theosophists and sympathizers from various places in Brazil and around the world have met to celebrate poetry, music, dance, literature, visual arts, and all artistic expressions through soirees, lectures, and panels. A list of approximately 50 videos made from the recording of the meetings can be accessed through the following link. TOS Arts also implemented and completed the project of the book, Theosophy and Verses, an anthology published by the Theosophical Press in Brazil. The work was launched in July, 2021 through an online soiree. The authors, all members of TS in Brazil, read some of the poems published in the book, all inspired by walking the spiritual path. A highlight in the schedule of the year was the participation in the 40th summer school of the TS Brazil, which took place on January 29th and 30th in 2021. TOS Art, as it happened in other seminars, promoted a cultural event to close out the two nights of the seminar. There were more than 40 performances by poetry, more than 40 performances of poetry, music, dance, and visual arts conducted by members who are dedicated to the activities of TOS Arts. In Braganza Polista, the Theosophical Lodge Alea contributes to the work of the Theosophical Order of Service with the Healing Session Meditation Group for Healing. For safety reasons during the pandemic in 2020, the meditation was posted through WhatsApp, joining the group together every Friday evening at 6 p.m. Due to the difficulties of some members concerning the established time, there are four different time zones in Brazil, the president of the lodge decided to let the meditation for healing be done daily at any time. Members are free to add new names to the list of requests for people who need it. It's vibration being worked day by day. Thus, this work continues to this present moment. In Jao Poseo, the Esperanza Lodge is conducting a small social project that consists of the following actions. Since May 2021, the monthly donations of the members of the Lodge are being used to purchase organic food from farmers in the various regions of the state of Pareva. The purchased food, fruits, vegetables, and roots of the season are given to the Padre Zia Institute. This is a welfare entity in the city that receives the most diverse donations and maintains a nursing home, hospital, and an industrial kitchen where it prepares and distributes meals for patients and the homeless population. With this action, the Hope Theosophical Lodge through TOS intends to help the entire social chain from the small farmer in the field to the needy people in the city buying and donating organic, vegetarian and healthy food. Since November, 2018, a telephone service in Juiz de Fora for emotional support and prayer is offered by a Spiritus Center. The service is offered for two and a half hours every two weeks. Since February 2021, the TOS helps with training workers for the CVV on call, 
a national telephone service program for emotional support. The structure and organization of the TOS group was officially started in April, 2021. Development of a social project called Franco Amor disseminates information about emotional support services throughout the country, as well as the search for volunteers for these institutions and provides information about mental health, quality of life, focusing on the integral human being. The TOS group printed and distributed 300 copies of the article Statute of Compassion on the streets of Jouy de Fora, which was published by the Sophia Magazine, number 77. It also participated in a Lotus social project, raising funds and delivering computer product, pro, products to underprivileged children and teenagers. The president of the NGO, Animal in Nature, in Juiz de Fora, has today under its guardianship, 50 animals and an office to care for them. Supported by various contributions from TOS supporters, the office is also a source of funding for the association's expenses. Due to the pandemic, the healing service in Rio de Janeiro was reactivated through a WhatsApp group. It meets every 15 days on Wednesdays. A TOS group was started to share information related to TOS principles in the areas of health, animal welfare, TOS campaigns, and the cultural programs. In November 2020, a Christmas campaign donated 120 food baskets to the community of Jardin Gamache. In March 2021, 834 bottles of water were supplied to a community of Jardin Gamache. Three trucks were also supplied to transport water to fill the water tanks of the houses. In June, a donation was made to Grupo Redes No Cantal, a choir composed of homeless people and maintained by the conductor Ricardo Branco de Vasconcelos. 10 pairs of famous rubber slippers, 30 bars of soap, and a pair of glasses for a choir boy were also donated. In July, the TOS worked with the spiritist group Demetrius purchasing and delivering blankets to the homeless people. 700 reals were raised. Two brothers from the Nirvana Lodge participated personally in the delivery, which was made in two days. The TOS group in Costa Rica helped support the opening of the TOS in Mexico. They continue to do healing service via Zoom on Sundays. Food and other items are given to people in need. The healing service for Costa Rica is held every Wednesday at 6 p.m. At the same time, brothers from other countries of the Americas where it does not exist are invited to participate, such as in Paraguay, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and others. Donations are also contributed to animal shelters. Gifts and clothes were donated to 75 disadvantaged children for the Christmas of 2020. In Jalapa, Veracruz, food supplements are donated to the Mariana Sayego Hospice. The supplements help the elderly strengthen their immune system and help them maintain their weight. In Casa del Sol Puebla, clothing and school utensils were donated for the Casa del Sol, a foster home for abandoned children. In Puebla, Two doctors give free consultation to the homeless drug addicts and alcoholics at the Alcance Victorias Association in Puebla. In Tuxla Gutierrez, Chiapas, 
Food supplements and diaper donations are made for Emilio, an eight-year-old with several genetic ailments. In Acosacuatla, Chiapas, children are being taught how to respect birds. With the help of an orthonologist and two nature photographers, a bird watching and identification workshop was held for children. The children were invited to appreciate the bird's beauty and importance and encouraged not to hunt them with slingshots. Follow-up workshops are already planned now with the support from the National Commission for Protected Areas. In Tuxla Gutierrez, Chiapas, food donations for neighborhoods with scarce resources was also made. 40 meals are delivered weekly to low-income families. These donations are made by the Vega Castellanos family. In Guanajuato, a group of neighbors take care of the public park, watering and fertilizing the plants and trees, painting the benches and placing luminaries. Painting and creating children's games is also included. Neighbors make the donations and they work together. In Mexico City, a group of volunteers rescue dogs and cats from the streets. Animals are sterilized, medically cared for, and fed while awaiting adoption. The shelter is maintained by volunteers with the help of small donations. A healing prayer is held weekly with the collaboration of brothers and sisters from the U.S., Costa Rica, Argentina, and Mexico since July 25th. Prayer has no borders. It unites us and reminds us of universal brotherhood. Due to COVID restrictions, the TOS United States continues to work online. A series of online programs that centered on our relationship with the natural world were held. Billy Topatate, an Apache medicine woman, kicked off the series with a prayer and a talk about our need to listen to Mother Earth. A presentation on the words of wisdom from the book Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer, a scientist and a member of the Potawatomi Nation, was also given a month later. And yet another month later, Another presentation was made on the book, The Life, The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wallabin. All programs were well attended nationally and internationally. The TOSUS continues supporting the Ogallala Lakota Nursing School Scholarship. This year, the Ogallala Scholarship recipient was Bethany Ayota. The TOS also continues supporting the Golden Link College through the current matching grant. The healing networks for both humans and animals remains a popular project. This year, the Animal Healing Network received over 90 different names of animals and its owners. It now has 26 different healers, and it is in its seventh year of functioning. Despite COVID, the TOS support continues to reward award different organizations with its grants. $7,000 in grants were awarded to the following the Lakota Waldorf School, the Midwest Homeless Veterans Shelter, the Waterkeeper Alliance, Feeding America, the TSA Prisoner Program, the Alcott Education Society for the Women's Training Institute, the Golden Link College, and Compassion and World Farming. The TOS US is proud to announce that it has endorsed the efforts of Back from the Brink, a campaign to end the prohibition 
and use of nuclear weapons. The TOS US continues to publicize its social issues and promote its work through its newsletter, One Heart. To sign up for the newsletter, go to www.theoservice.org. The TOS US would like to say gracias, thank you to the many who serve humanity through acts of kindness, love, generosity, and compassion. Every positive action, no matter how small, counts. A personal thank you to Regina De Silva, whose efforts made this presentation possible. May all beings know peace.